you can blame these guys <laughs> for us being here. <laughs> His name is Chris Symington. He lives in La Plata, Missouri. Chris and you. <laughs> Standing here next to me, her name is Alberta Burton, but we call her Bert, so if you hear us say Bert, it's not another guy in the band. It's her. Hey Bert, how you doing, Bert? Yeah, so. <laughs> <laughs> so we go over You got her dirty around here. It's yeah. yeah. a little aged now. Yeah, it's a little aged. She's from Council Bluffs, Iowa. Wow. Yeah. Up there by Omaha. Omaha, Nebraska. She drove about five hours to get down to get in with us and drive another four and a half hours. How'd she yes. make it get past all the bikes? So, What's yeah. that? How'd she get past all the bikes? I don't go any further south than tw uh, 29 and 34 exits. Yeah, they've got 29 close yeah, south cool. of Council Bluffs. Over there uh, to the far right, the men in black tonight. Looking fine. I can say that because he's my husband. <laughs> now, don't you other ladies go be telling him that, okay? No, come on. No. Yeah. <laughs> His name is Paul Burton. He's from Knox City, Missouri. Uh, my name is Marsha Burton. I happen to be from Knox City, Missouri. The gentleman back there holding up that uh, table, his name is Brian Hall. Uh, he helps us drive, pack in this equipment. He does a lot of stuff for us. He's a blessing to us, and we appreciate him. He's from a little town called Nottley, Missouri. Give him a hand. <laughs> this next song we're getting ready to do is called Help Us on the Way. Paul is usually asked, do you like bluegrass music? Yeah. We don't do any of it. We just wondered if you like it. <laughs> but uh, Doyle Lawson and Quicksilver took this uh, bluegrass song to number one on the Southern Gospel Church uh, several years ago. And um, we like the words in the song because help's on the way. I don't know about you, but I need all the help I can get. And uh, there's a line in there that uh, we always like to point out uh, is, in other words, don't give up. Help won't help tomorrow if you give up today. You know, sometimes we're just on the brink of receiving the answer to our prayer and we give up on it. And Jesus Christ doesn't want us to do that. He, want us to, he wants us to hang in there. Helps on the brink.
any city or town you come to, there's usually a lot of churches in the town. You know, I travel on my work in some other areas, and I there's a town probably a lot of you guys might even be familiar with, Quincy, Illinois. Oh, yeah. And man, it just seems like on every corner there's a church of some denomination of some sort. But I often wonder how many is still preaching the full gospel of Jesus Christ Come in those places. And, them, and it, it's Jesus Christ still being uplifted. You know, just because you go to a church doesn't make you a Christian. That's right. And just because there's a church on the corner, it might not. And I'm not running down any particular denomination either. As long as you're a blood block child of God, we're going to see each other in heaven no matter what's over our door in there. But uh, this song talks about it in a little different way. It talks about the church as being a full station church, a soul filling station. And that's what we lack in our churches today. We uh, we need that stuff we can come in and get our souls filled for what we're going to face throughout the week and the and the days to come. And this song likens it to the old time filling stations when they, how many remember the old time when this full service called full service stations. Yes. And that guy would come out and you'd run over that little rubber thing and he'd dig inside <laughs> that guy would come out and check all the flood levels and everything yep. in your vehicle and all that. That was called a full service. And that's what our churches needs to be, is a full service to the sinner and to the Christian alike that we can edit. This puts it a little different way, kind of a fun little song that's saying we're talking about a soul filling station. You can always find a speed
I don't know why he started saying that because I don't know if he wrote it. I don't think he wrote it, but he sang it and made it a hit several years ago, probably back in the 70s. And, but to me, it's more prevalent today than it's ever been. And especially as Christians, you know, we can meet somebody on the street and if we just give them a smile, that might just change their whole outlook on that day. If, uh, you know, in the world and the shape it's in, us as Christians, everybody needs to do it, but us as Christians need to do it that much more. Show a little kindness. Yes, amen.
Hanson song instead. Name of this song, I, I, is this a Hanson song? How much time? He came? Yes, yeah, it is. Okay. <laughs> this is another Hanson song. How many believe that God can? Yes. You know, sometimes, um, I guess I'm on this kick tonight. You know, sometimes when things start going bad for us or the things aren't going the way that we want, um, we begin to question God. Your bus is broke down. Yeah, the bus is broke down. <laughs> and you begin to question God, you know, you know how can this um, be your will? But that's when we're supposed to trust in Him more. And I don't know about you, but I know a God who came. Yes. He came. Sleep back there. I said, That camel back there must be a Baptist. He's going to sleep through the whole thing. 
<laughs> and after we got done singing, a little sweet lady came up to me and shook hands with me. She goes, I'm one of those sleeping babies. <laughs> as long as you know Jesus Christ, who cares what his name's over your door? Amen. 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 We're going to do this new song. We started doing this song. We're going to try to help this young, talented artist get, get his name out. And you might, I don't know if you've heard of him around here or not. His name is Josh Turner. Woohoo! Oh, I have heard of him. We're doing good. We got his name out. No. We, re, we enjoy his music. And we enjoy his walk with the Lord more than anything. But, uh, this is a new song that he actually wrote with somebody else. And, uh, it says our testimony today. I hope that we serve a Savior. Amen. How many out there serving a Savior today?
said you like bluegrass. I know you know who this group is. Uh, their name is the Isaacs. Yep. They had this song out a few years back, quite a few years. We sang the old stuff. You can tell me how old they are that we sang the old stuff. <laughs> Come a time up against the sea that the people had to stand still and wait on the Lord. And that's what we, I'm from a Pentecostal background. We like a lot of things going on, a lot of jumping around and hollering and screaming. Uh, we think we're having church ahead, and sometimes we are. But sometimes God would just like for us to sit down and shut up and let him talk a while, you know? And that's kind of what this song kind of is. When you're in, in your rope, just stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. It's hard to see you now. If you were walking all alone, but he is there, no doubt. When the storm around you rages and you're tossed to and fro, when you're faced with life's decisions, turn to and doubt. Lord, they raise their hand. Lord, 
minister to them. Let them know that you're on the way. You've got it under control. We thank you for that tonight.